In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' question, which is how to undo styling after clicking the same button in JavaScript. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to add a onClick function to a button in JavaScript. And here, the question came from Anush Joshi. So a special thank you to Anush for asking this specific question. And this is what he asked. How to refer back to original state after clicking the same button? All right, so let me show you what we're going to do because what you're really referring to here is a toggle. And what I call a toggle is just thing like a checkbox. When you click on a checkbox, it shows checked. And once you click again on it, it shows unchecked. So that's what we're going to do here. So first of all, to do this, we need two items. We need a button. So we're going to create a button here. And in this button, we're going to give it a function or a class or well, an onclick function, sorry. And this we would say here, let's say toggle class. All right, so this would basically mean that in HTML, when you click on this specific button, it should trigger this function in JavaScript. So I can say here, hide or show value. Then what I'm going to do here next one is basically make a paragraph here and this paragraph will say hide or show me very simple now i'm going to say here i'll say here an id i'll just give it an id and this id will be par paragraph or p that's fine all right so we have this here and if i save this right now we have that one of course it doesn't work at all so we have to make now here this function working so we need for that javascript and we need a script tag so in here, we're going to indicate that this function will do something. So we can say here, function, and then we're going to grab this specific name. And on purpose, I leave this blank. We don't need any parameter here, because what we will do is we're going to pinpoint a specific class here. So this would be the following. So we have this here, and then what we will say here is the following. On click, we'll trigger this function, and then what it will do, basically this first of all we need to get this id here so we say here constant p that will be the, uh, that will be the constant name and a p stand, and then we say document dot get element by or oh, it's a tag name i don't want that tag, get element by id in other words when we click on this specific button it triggered this function and then it will search in this html document which is basically this document here for a value or a constant p and this constant p stands for a document dot get element by id meaning it will search here for the element name with the id name of whatever we input here in this case letter p so it will search for this specific paragraph here once it did that what we can do now is next we say p so we pinpoint this one and then we're going to add a class here so we say here or well not really add a class we'll say a class name dot toggle and then here what are we going to toggle because remember toggle means clicking on the same item but doing different things for example uh, uh, like a checkbox same principle let we say here height so what i'm really doing here is i'm going to add a class with this name height however because it's a toggle function or because it toggles it will check if it's already existing if it's already existing it will do exactly like a checkbox it will remove it all right so let's save this now and refresh and see if this works let's open up our development the developer tab and we click on this all right, so toggle name is not a function. All right, class name. There should be not class name, class list. There's two functions here, class name and class list. I kind of need the class list. All right, so now you see no errors. But if you click on this, pay attention here. Let's look if we can find here the item. Class height. Then you click again, it removes it. And then we click again, it will add it up. If I refresh again, pay attention here. We have the ID. Click, hide, click, hide, click, hide. All right. So now it works. So this is basically how you do it because you cannot hard code the CSS code in there like what we did in, in this video where we have the values hard coded in there because what we want to do here is basically this one. Let me say here, a class or this is the class and this class will be called height. 
And then we say this height here will do the following. We say this play none. So if I save this now, go back here, refresh, now I click, it hides it, and you can see the class is on here. Now I click again, it shows it. Of course, we could do something else as well. You can grab this. If we would do another one here, we could basically do this. I'm going to show you something here as well, more advanced. Uh, we're going to use this value. This might be an interesting as well, because then we have two items here. This, and then we say here, value equals, let's say, height. Then for this one, we will say value equals red. All right. Then we say here, make text red. All right. So we have this here. So what happens now here? I'm using the this value. And this, this uh, how do I pronounce properly? The this value is very powerful because when you see this or when you see, see uh, this specific text, it would mean that this refers to the entire button. So when we click on it, it will grab the entire button value here. So if I say here, the value, I'm going to show you right now here, I'm going to show you two options here. Console log, we're going to grab the value. And the value is basically the entire tag. And let's give it a tag, tag name, all right? We grab this, put it in here. If I save that, refresh. Now let's click on that. And uh, we see here the elements. I don't want the elements. I need to go to the console log. You can see now I'm selecting this and I grab here the entire button anchor tag or sorry, the button tag that we selected. Click on this. You can see here now we get the red value. Beautiful. All right. So with this, we can start to work with something more advanced because if you're going to say this equals that, well, we need to get the value only. We don't want the entire tag because that will not be recognized if we change this, uh, the height value with the tag name, because we need to have here dot value. If you say dot value, it will grab from this button, which it recognizes the value item, which is this specific value. Save that, refresh, pay attention again. Now you see a height. Now you see here red, there we are. So now what we could do, exactly the same. And here we have very nicely written code, extremely efficient. So we say here toggle, but the toggle now will not be anymore a hard coded text. No, we're going to grab this tag name dot value, put it in here. We save that, but what I want to do here is I want to create a uh, color of red. So I say here, this class is red. And then we say here, color equals red and now if i save that refresh see it here pay attention all right let me make this and there we are so hide show red there we are and this is how we can play around with it we can go really really extreme with this of course but this is extremely efficient and this specific value here many might be confused with it but it's very powerful but of course always make sure you grab the specific value match to this uh, argument, all right? So that's it for now.